you there all right so once you log in into your uh, shopify account all right so the interface is going to look uh, something like this so what you need to do is you need to click on online stores on the left and then click on themes and then you will see the option of like actions and customize etc so you need to click on actions and then you need to click on edit code right now once you click on edit code uh, you will see these kinds of files check out dot uh, liquid theme dot liquid now you need to focus on theme dot liquid which is going to be present for all kinds of shopify accounts right and theme dot liquid is a file through which you can control your non checkout pages all right you also see checkout dot liquid in this uh, screen okay but checkout dot liquid is only going to be available for shopify plus account so what i am working upon right now is a shopify plus account but uh, as i said that checkout dot liquid is going to be available only in shopify plus account you will not find it in uh, any other kind of account so if you click on theme dot uh, liquid then you simply need to locate the head section it's very easy to locate it's uh, going to be somewhere in the top 10 lines so here the head section in line number seven so you now just need to place the code that you get get from google tag manager in your uh, head section so it can be anywhere in the entire head section and it will work fine ideally it should be as high as possible but uh, it does not mean that if you place it anywhere else then uh, in the in the head section then it will not work all right so it's very easy once you do that just uh, click on the save button all right so you need to repeat the same process for checkout dot liquid as well now let's look at how to install that in the body section which is also going to be very similar so uh, just like we have located the head section you need to locate the body section so for example here the body is starting at line 216 so the other tag that you get from your tag manager that is for the body section is something like this so uh, nothing complicated here as well you simply need to copy paste this uh, tag uh, in the body section and click on save and uh, you are good to go same thing for checkout same thing for uh, theme so essentially as i said it's very simple you need to get the codes from your google tag manager place that in the head in the body of your shopify and it will work fine now let's see uh, how to test that once you have done this process uh, properly how to go to the site and debug it to make sure that everything is working fine all right so there are various ways to test whether you have implemented google tag manager properly on your site or not uh, so the most common way is using the tag assistant, which is an extension by uh, Google itself. So if you are using Google Chrome or Chromium, then you can look for the tag assistant in the app store, right? So if you go to the page on which you have installed Google tag manager, you simply need to open your tag assistant and click on enable. And after that, if you refresh it, right? So you will see the various tags that are coming for the Google marketing cloud. So you need to locate uh, Google Tag Manager and you need to see the color of the tag. So in this case, it's green. That means it has been installed properly. The other thing that you need to validate is uh, you need to look for the Google Tag Manager container ID because at times what happens is that we are using various kinds of plugins. Now those plugins might have their own Google Tag Manager or Google uh, Analytics. So you need to make sure that uh, the GTM container is matching with the container for which you have installed your Google Tag Manager. All right. Now, another thing that uh, you need to keep in mind is that uh, if you have never published your Google Tag Manager container, all right, then you will get a 404 error. So if you have a fresh container which has never been published in the past, then publish it at least once. If you know, want to know more about uh, that error, then you can look at the video that I have uh, shared in the description box and it co covers very thoroughly why the error comes and what's your uh, justification for that and how to solve it. All right. So this is first method uh, using the tag assistant. The second method is uh, you can use the various kinds of uh, uh, developer tools. So for example, I prefer using something called Omnibug. Okay, so it's also a Chrome extension you can get from the App Store. And uh, Omnibug allows you to uh, debug various kinds of uh, tools. It involves Google Tag Manager as well. So if you go to Omnibug in your developer tools and you simply refresh the site on which you want to test this, then if you see that Google Tag Manager is coming, that means uh, Google Tag Manager has been installed properly. All right. So it's uh, again, not very difficult. So just uh, implement the code the way I have uh, shared in this video, and then you can go to your site and test whether it has been properly implemented or not. All right. So hope this was helpful. Uh, looking forward to meet you in more videos.